everyone welcome back welcome back in today's tutorial we are going to build on the plotly ai agent uh, app that we built a couple of weeks ago the difference is that in this this agent is going to have memory so if in the last agent that we built two weeks ago we said for example take this set of data set build me a plotly uh, graph uh, we could not really follow up it was just question and answer if we wanted to follow up why did you choose this graph? Uh, it might not give us an answer. I didn't create a graph yet, right? It's treating this as a completely new chat. So today we built uh, an AI agent that actually has memory. So if I say build a graph or hit submit, and then I can learn from it. I can say, oh, cool, nice bar graph. Why did you choose this graph? I chose a bar chart for several reasons. Beautiful five good reasons of why they chose a bar graph. Well, I'm assuming it's good. I'm not going to read through everything right now. Um, or I can say it like tweak, tweak the title, please. Title, please, to say uh, mission price. So it should, if it remembers correctly, create the same graph, but just a different title. And that's the advantage of having an AI agent that has memory. So I'm not going to go over the whole code because this code is very similar to the video and to the code we created initially two weeks ago. So just watch the video on top of this original app to see how we created this app with the data set, dash AG grid, uh, button, text, and, and uh, this AI agent in general. Specifically today, I'm going to show you how to create that memory part. Right? Now, this, all of this code is going to be in the Langchain education space on Charming Data. Uh, regardless of um, this code, I highly encourage you to join the Charming Data platform because um, it's free, it's completely open, and we are working together. I'm excited to work with people like you on projects that uh, help us understand and learn Python, data visualization, and AI. And most importantly, we are working on these projects together as a team. We finished our June project uh, a month ago. No, about two weeks ago. We're working on our July project on Monday. And uh, somebody just suggested a new project for the summer. Um, and and this, whole, this whole collaboration is a great opportunity for you to develop your um, career projects portfolio, right? So you show future employers what you're capable of in the AI and data visualization world. All right, so let's look over the code. Here's the code, be agent, agent with memory, right? So what we did here to actually access memory or to create memory is chat history. We added this message holder, chat history variable. Now the, uh, the LLM is going to know to look for and choose uh, chat history. So I'm gonna go down here um, we are going to feed it. You see the chain. We're going to give it the user input, whatever we say right here. We're going to give it our CSV string as the data, right? The first five rows of the of the uh, of the data set. We'll go into we'll go as a string inside the prompt. And lastly, we're going to give it our chat history, right? So let's see how we actually uh, use this chat history, how we build it. The first chat history to build the chat, the first chat history is going to be an empty, an empty list. There's going to be nothing there, right? We're going to listen to it right here. This is a data uh, component of the, the data property of the store it, of the DCC store. So we're listening to the data that is in the client's browser. At the beginning, it's an empty list, right? This chat history is an empty list. However, once we create the response using the large language model, we're going to fill in this list. We're going to append it with the user input as a human message and we're, the result, the answer, as an AI message. And that is why you can see here when we're looking at the, let's refresh this. Let's try what, it, uh, my name is Adam, which is a basic example, just so it's easy to read submit you'll see that initially it's a, a, the history is an empty list there's nothing in there 
and then we're printing out the result. All of this is a result, uh, which we can also see on the screen. And then we are appending the human answer and the AI answer to our chat history, which we see right here, print history. So all of this is right here. This one list of two dictionaries. The first dictionary refers to the human message. See, type human, my name is Adam, is the content. The second dictionary refers to the AI message or response. AI, and then the content, you can see here, content. Hi, Adam, I'm helping you to help you with creating a graph using blah, 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 blah. All of this right here. So that's how it remembers it. So when I say, what is my name, it will remember is going to return this uh, chat history, going to return it to the data property of our DCC store, right? It returns it right here. And then when we activate the callback again with this button, it's going to read this chat history. All of this original chat history is going to read it inside here. And it's going to give us an answer based on this chat history. And then add more, add this second user input, the second result into the same list. So now we have a longer chat history, right? We have the second AI message. My name is Adam. And we have the second human message, right? What is my name? So that is how you build uh, a chat history with uh, using Dash and Plotly and the callback. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a good time. Uh, if you have any questions in the comments below, as always, we're better together, so help each other out.